Ready for war, are we? I don't think so. When your castle is burning and the corpses of your men litter the city streets, you will realize you are not ready for war. Pawn 2e4. I do not wish any deaths to befall my people, nor to yours, Wilfred. But if you bring war to my kingdom, you leave me with no choice but to kill you. Soldiers, march out! My peasant army are in a vulnerable position and could easily be dealt with. By all means, your majesty, go ahead and slaughter those low-life men. You and I both know that it takes sacrifice to win. I will let you have the honor of being the first to draw blood, righteous leader. I will draw blood. I do not take any joy in doing so, but your cruel conquest for power will come to an end when you run out of brave men to sacrifice. Surrender now, and I will consider sparing your life. Oh, Brandon, do you honestly believe capturing me is a plausible outcome of this battle? You foolish little boy. Close the gates, light the signals, send an arrow through any foe who comes close to the castle walls. Brandon, consider me impressed and very surprised. I would not have seen that move coming. Opening the gates to send out your troops during a siege is a remarkably brave move. Bravo, soldiers, storm the gates. Kill everyone in your way. You want to fight, Wilfred? Come and get me then. I'll be waiting for you right here, ready to die for my kingdom. As you wish, my king. Men, kill his knights. When the rivers are red from the blood of all those loyal to the crown, I will take care of Brandon personally. Leave him unharmed. He is mine. You're wrong, Wilfred. Your mindless aggression has made you predictable and most easy to outwit. Say your prayers, you are about to meet your maker. No, this cannot be. I am better than you. I am stronger than you. I will not let a little weak worm like you best me in battle. Checkmate, Wilfred. Guards, chop off his head and dump him somewhere out of sight. No one shall ever mention his name again. <laughs> 